Diego. How you feeling? Okay. Oh yeah, that looks bad. And then I stab and poke me three times instead. I just run. Told you, asparos are not good. And I got the thing on my feet too. That you means you broke your foot or what? <laughs> no, it's for my blood flow. And this is my idea. You can see where I was bleeding. Oh, yeah, that's dangerous. It's almost time. It's almost time. Are you mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel? I feel like you just don't want to have babies no more. Do you feel happy about that? Upset? Disappointed? I don't know. I mean, you don't want to have babies, but me? But you do? But me, yeah, but I guess not no more. Oh, yeah. Yeah? That you don't want kids no more? I know. No, this. It's crazy. Do you think when they grow up, they'll probably say, like, Mom, why don't you have any more kids? Probably as soon as they turn, like, 10. Or maybe not. No, because they, they're pretty much almost the same age. Yeah. And, and they, they yeah. So maybe not. They'll probably be like, yes, we have no more babies, so. But I mean, like, when they grow up, they sound like adults. And they hang out with each other and they just like, oh, just me and my brother would have had no more siblings. Yeah. Do you think they'll regret it then? I don't think so. Do you think they'll regret it? Will you regret it? I do. I mean, you do already? I already do. I already told you. But that's what you wanted. I respect that. But we went through a lot with the first Yeah. And then Jacob. Nah. We struggled a lot. I mean, we didn't struggle, but like... It could be dangerous if we have another baby. Yeah. And then with my mommy, like... Can I Giving me shots. And then I was the worst, though. And then it was the worst, like... Because it was a very dry Yeah. And then we had to put the blood transfusion. Yep. We would still have the option of doing a surrogate, so where they do it not artificially but like external where they take one of my ovaries and, or one of my eggs and meet it with your sperm and then like do it instead of another person's stomach oh really? yeah I know that yeah we still have that option because I'm still gonna have eggs yeah. they're not they're not cutting them or anything mm. I could just do an artificial insemination I think it's what I don't know if it would be. I don't know if it could be in me. Or if it would have to be in somebody else. What are you gonna do while I'm gone? I'm gonna go eat some fucking food. I'm hungry. <laughs> I am too. I have a new sister. 
Yeah, me neither. I know, but you can eat right now. I can't. Can I go see if it's in there? See you later. She's about to go in and tan. Nine, no, eight, seven. Just kidding, everybody. See you later, though. surgery we weren't really able to vlog at the hospital because they weren't letting us um but yeah we're out i'm done i got my surgery taken care of i got um tubulation i think it's called uh where they literally cut my t cut my tubes and um they burnt them off the man no mm -hmm. Yeah, they burnt off the edges and stuff, so there's really no possibility of ever growing them or having another baby. Um, they said they weren't sure of the numbers, but um, it's m almost a 0% possibility of um, an accident or getting pregnant. Um, and obviously not planned. Um, but yeah, I got out. The surgery itself was... It was pretty fast, it was about an hour long. Um, but recovery, recovery is what is kicking my butt. I was losing oxygen, I was fainting literally, um, and my throat has just been very sore. Um, I can barely talk, and I'm really dizzy, and just everything. But thank goodness that my husband didn't go to work and he's here taking care of me. He's been taking care of me the whole morning and the whole time we were there. Very helpful. Um, but he bought me some food and stuff and I wasn't able to get anything down. But um, I did throw up a couple of times. But I think now I feel better. Um, at least I'm not as sleepy anymore. The anesthesia kicked my ass too. Like it hit me real hard. It wasn't it wasn't wearing off like it should have. But they did decide to put a little bit extra and stuff and do extra things just because I tend to throw up a lot with anesthesia. Um, so they wanted to make sure that was good. But I guess by doing that, it just the, I. I I want to say the dosage just went a lot higher because they didn't want me to throw up. But what it ended up doing was just not wearing off. And still right now, it's it's not worn off because I'm literally in no pain. But, um, I mean, it, I'm in pain when I cough or sneeze or something. But I'm in no pain. It, it hurts to walk a little bit, but not, not terribly. Um for the most part it's just getting dizzy and being able to mainta maintain myself up without help so that's why like i said he's been super helpful with that um but yeah i just wanted to tell you guys we are home and he's here with me my mom has the babies um because they have school tomorrow she picked them up from school and they have school so she's taking them um and my husband go goes back to work tomorrow so Hopefully by tomorrow I'm all good to go and I should be feeling better. What up you guys? So I just woke up. It's obviously the next day. Excuse my voice, I can't really talk. Um, the breathing tube that they put in your mouth to keep you alive while they're doing the surgery and you're under anesthesia really hurt my throat. And sorry if I'm stuttering and I, i'm not even know i don't even know what i'm saying because i'm still under the effect of anesthesia but man i just wanted to come on here and tell you guys that i'm feeling a little better but not a hundred percent 
um, excuse the lighting, I have the light on, the TV on, but, um, I'm gonna be here by myself today, so I'm gonna try to talk to you guys as much as possible, um, here pretty soon, I'm gonna start editing and stuff, but, um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys my progress, I am not making very much progress yet, I still feel very sore and in pain, my husband had to go to work, like I said, um, and my mom is probably gonna come over until about 12 o'clock um, and until then I'll be by myself so wish me luck okay, so as you saw in the previous clips I went into surgery um, and those clips are actually from yesterday I thought I was going to be able to vlog um, some more at the hospital but they weren't allowing me to uh, we were just able to get some footage but not everything that I wanted to I wanted to really bring you guys along from the morning of all the way until, you know, recovery, but it didn't work out like that. Um, but I just wanted to talk to you guys about what surgery procedure I went through yesterday and why I did it. As all of you can see, um, I look like a hot mess right now. And that's because, and my throat is graspy, but, um... That's because I got a tubo removal yesterday. Um, tubo removal is when a woman is desired to be sterile and um, decides to get her tubes removed. A lot of people get it confused with uh, tubal ligation. Tubal ligation is not the same thing because basically when they tie your tubes or they clamp your tubes. On the other hand, what I did was the tubo removal. They actually took out my tubes. So... Um, I will not be able to have any more babies at all, like, ever. Um, the numbers are very, very low. Now, when I decided I was going to proceed with this process, um, I got lots of questions. Everybody was wondering why I was wanting to do it. I'm so young. Even my doctor. I'm so young. Why did you decide to do it now? Wait a couple more years. And everybody was just trying to get me out of doing it, but... I wasn't gonna not do it so I decided to proceed um, I called to get a consultation and stuff about two months ago and then after the consultation two weeks later they called me and told me that I had um, to submit all my insurance paperwork and all my billing information and all that stuff to get the process started and I thought okay you know it's maybe gonna take another it's not gonna probably happen until another six months or something they called me two days after I sent in my um, insurance information to tell me that I had the appointment for my surgery December 5th which was yesterday um, and it kind of took me by surprise because they literally called me maybe November 2nd beginning of November let's say and they told me that I was ready and everything was set up and everything was good to go for me to get their surgery done so I was kind of in shock um, I didn't really know what to do or say but it was my decision I had made my final decision and I I was sure of what I wanted and what I wanted was to not have any more babies so yeah guys that is my surgery story that is what i got done and that is what surgery i was telling you guys that i was going to go into like i said we couldn't vlog everything but we got a little bit of footage from the hospital so i was thinking that hopefully we can get jonathan to um make a sit down video with me have us answer some of your guys's questions so feel free to leave your questions down below and with that being said, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe. But yeah, if you guys have any questions that you'd like us to answer or any comments or suggestions as far as new videos, just let us know. But yeah, with that being said, you guys, I just want to say thank you once again for watching. We'll see you on the next one.